Seth Brown, Harrison, Junior. Before Money Brown, he get a lot of money. That's why I call him Money Brown. What's good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. I want to give a shout-out to Money Brown TV. Thank you so much for everything. Hey, it's Brian Garcia here. Shout-out to Money Brown TV. And uh, keep punching, baby. Yo, 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 what's going on at the fight world? This your boy Money back with another one, man. And this one here is on the Mexican superstar fighter, Canelo Alvarez, four division world champion, the current unified super middleweight world champion, looking to be undisputed in September. Then we have Oscar De La Hoya, who is a sixth division world champion. We all know a legendary Hall of Fame fighter. Um, he's taking shots at Canelo, saying that Canelo is ducking the two division world champion and the current middleweight WBC uh, world champ, Jamal Cholo. And he's trying to take big shots at Canelo. He says, you know, Oscar De La Hoya say, please, this guy does everything wrong. Head up when he throws. Hooks on his heels. Flat-footed. Oh, what else? Oh, he avoids twin Charlo. So this comes from a, a picture of um, Canelo was, um, you know, teaching the young kid, you know, a few pointers and tricks inside the ring. And Oscar De La Hoya came in there, you know, shitting on Canelo up under the post. But this is the thing with Oscar. He tagged the wrong Charlo, first of all. You feel me? You plus the tag future uh, future of boxing. Jamal Charlo. You tag fucking Jamel Charlo. And we know Jamel Charlo will get on your ass, Oscar, because he keep telling y'all, I'm not my fucking brother. I'm a 154 pounder. Right? I ain't never turned down no goddamn fight with Canelo. I'm 154 pounds. So Oscar, first of all, you're wrong because we know you're doing something that you shouldn't be doing. You're tagging the wrong fucking Charlo. And then you come out here and you're trying to hate on Canelo, homie. You trying to come out here and hate on Canelo and say, oh, he's ducking um, the Cholo brothers. You weren't saying that when he was in your stable. You feel me? And I don't want to hear nobody saying no bullshit. Or Oscar, he telling the truth. Yeah, Canelo is ducking Cholo. He do I don't want to hear that shit because y'all want to ride with no goddamn Oscar De La Hoya. Miss me with the bullshit. We all know why Oscar coming out trying to shit on Canelo. We all know the truth. Canelo has left Golden Boy. And now guess what? Oscar and Benoit Hawkins is out on a mission to try to destroy Canelo reputation. Let's keep it real. You feel me? Let's keep it real. He left Golden Boy. We seen Oscar come out, get pissed off, right? Uh, we seen Canelo talk about his problems with Oscar, say that he, all he do is worry about is drinking and not running his promotion company, that Richard Schaefer built that goddamn company, the same thing Floyd was talking about, right? And now we're looking at Canelo, um, fit to be the first undisputed champion at 168 pounds, because I think he's going to beat Caleb Plant. The first Mexican to do it, and not only the first Mexican, but the first boxer to do it. Like I keep um, saying, the great Andre Ward wasn't even undisputed at 168. And they see all this buzz around Canelo, Canelo being happy, and, and you know, giving us more of himself. Letting us into his life, you know, and, and telling us shit that we probably would have never heard if he was on the Golden Boy promotion. So they want to say that he's ducking this guy right here, Maul Charlo, who I fucks with Maul heavy, 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 heavy. heavy. As we've seen Bernard Hopkins come out and give an interview saying he thinks Jamal Charlo is, is Canelo's toughest test. Now we've seen Oscar De La Hoya coming out saying, oh, he's ducking Jamal Charlo. Listen, bro, me, myself, I think Maul gives it's the best guy out there to give Canelo a run and beat him, right? Other than Earl Spence, right? Because the styles make fights. But I've been saying that. I've been saying that. Oscar and Bernard Hopkins have been saying that. They saying that to try to shit on Canelo. You feel me? Now, the ones that's out there that feel what they feel for real, like the ones that been saying they feel like um, Cholo been ducking them um, all, I get it, family. I get it. But the ones who just trying to come out and, and, and ride this coattail with Oscar De La Hoya, get out my goddamn face. Get out my face. Because y'all ain't nothing but bandwagons and Canelo haters. That's it. Bandwagon and Canelo haters, and y'all do anything to try to help turn Canelo down. Period, bro. Period. Now, Maul know what to do if you want the goddamn Canelo fight. Right? Canelo already mentioned Jamal's name. Said that he will fight him. But Maul know he got to go to 168 if you want that fight. Because Canelo not coming back to 160. You feel me? If you go up, you got to deal with the likes of David Benavidez first. Because he's, he's in a position to fight Canelo, I think, before you. And before Andrade. So go up and take out David Benavidez and put yourself in position. You feel me? I know a lot of people say, well, Money Brown, well, tell me what did Abner Yedrin do? What did Billy Joe Saunders do? 
What did this fighter do? What did that fighter do? And I get it, man. I understand it. But y'all know the politics of boxing. Quit acting like y'all naive to this shit. We all know how the game go. You feel me? So if you really want the Canelo fight, when you are a good-ass fighter, go up, play chess, knock off his next move. Knock off his next move. And now you're right there in position. And then we will see. And yes, I know that Charlo was in position at 160. He was the mandatory to Canelo. And Canelo went up. But you got to do what you got to do. You got to do what you got to do, homie. If you really want to fight, do what you got to do. Period. But back to Oscar De La Hoya. Oscar sit up here and try to throw shots at Canelo. He keep trying to throw look this and that. I'm telling y'all, and I keep telling y'all this shit. He want to share the ring with Canelo Alvarez. He want to get a chance to punch Canelo in the face, whether Canelo knock his ass out or not. He just want the opportunity to go in there and try to fight Canelo because he feel like Canelo backstabbed him, turned his back on him when he feel like he's the one that made Canelo. Understand, he told Canelo, never bite the hand that feeds you. Never bite the hand that feeds you. Y'all know what that saying mean, bro. Y'all know where it come from. So even though Canelo ain't no golden boy no more, he's saying never bite the hand that feeds you. Come on, man. He felt like he built Canelo. He felt like he made Canelo. He felt like Canelo owed him an apology. He felt like Canelo owed him his career. He really do. Oscar De La Hoya feels like Canelo Alvarez owes him his career. That's why he come out and make statements like, I'm going to make Ryan Garcia better than him. Um, Ryan can surpass anything Canelo has ever done. I mean, look at him. He's young. Um, he's already ahead of him. No, damn well, Ryan Garcia ain't nowhere near Canelo level. Nowhere near it. Canelo was 23 fighting Floyd Money Mayweather. The greatest fighter in, in, in the fucking in, in, in boxing at that time. Well, of all time, cause I got Floyd as the GOAT. But nonetheless, the, the, the top fighter in boxing at that time, at 23 years of old, fighting fucking Floyd Mayweather. You see? My Oscar gonna say, yeah, he's fighting him because of me. No, he fought him because of Richard Schaefer. He fought him because of Richard Schaefer. You feel me? But nonetheless, you pissed off that Canelo is not with you no more, bro. And you feel like you still control that man, like you trolling this man. That man don't want nothing to do with you, dog. That man handling his business, bro. He over there on his own handling his business, dog. Period. And y'all done went to court. Y'all done settled out of court. There's certain things Canelo can't say, so he say he, he want to hold back. But you keep coming out here trolling this man, trying to, you know, probably trying to entice him to say some shit to where you can try to take him to court or sue him or some bullshit like that. You feel me? You're trying to entice him to say something he ain't supposed to say. But in a minute, Canelo go blast your motherfucking ass. You know what I'm talking about? Like the great Pimp C say. You go blast your ass in a minute and let some shit out the bag on you and Benoit Hawkins' ass. Because you got Benoit Hawkins up there trying to hate on him as well because he lost money when Canelo um, left Golden Boy. And you damn sure lost money when Canelo um, left Golden Boy. That's why you're trying to get your ass in the ring now and fight um, um, George St. Pierre. You feel me? You're trying to get that fight going. Because you know you're going to have to do something to keep Golden Boy afloat. You got to fill that Canelo void. Because Ryan Garcia ain't pulling in no Canelo checks. Um, Virgil Ortiz ain't pulling in no Canelo checks. Jaime, um, Jaime um, Maguire ain't pulling in no goddamn Canelo checks. Let's keep it real. You know that Canelo check was keeping your ass afloat. You know, Canelo was um, the hottest thing on your fucking roster. On your roster. And that way it kept your phone blowing up. It kept your phone blowing up. Because everybody want to fight Canelo. And you're the promoter. So I put you on top because you got Canelo under your roster. But now that he's gone, your ass feeling some type of way. You feeling some type of way. And Canelo urged you out. He told people about the dirty business that you be doing. So now you go make it your duty to try to turn down Canelo. You go make it your duty to do something to discredit Canelo. And pretty soon you're going to be coming out with defamation of courage in a minute. Pretty soon you'll come out and say some bullshit about this man. And I can feel it. I can feel it, bro. But why would you come up under a post where Canelo trying to do a nice thing for a kid? Right, make that kid day. Teach him a few pointers and tricks because the kid is in the ring with his favorite fighter. 
in Canelo Alvarez, not Oscar De La Hoya, right? He's in the ring with his favorite fighter, getting a few pointers and tricks, and you come up under there with some negative ass shit. Some negative shit. Oh, oh, what else? He's ducking twin Charlo. Didn't even tag the right goddamn Charlo. That's how much you trolling. And it's sad, bro. It's sad for somebody like you, who is uh, one of my favorite fighters coming up, Oscar De La Hoya. I still play with your ass on fight night, right? Hell of a skill set. Hundreds of million dollars in the bank. Has a fucking promotion company that's one of the tops at the moment. Have a stable full of fighters that you should be working with. But you out here trolling Canelo Alvarez. You, you got to watch everything this man do. Watch every move he make. So you can have something to talk about against Canelo Alvarez. You and Benoit Hopkins. Now Benoit Hopkins out telling Demetrius Andre to stalk this man like a little bitch. Follow him everywhere he go. Sniff around his nuts. A little, little yard dog. Go sniff around his nuts. Go do this. Go do that. You feel me? But I'm going to say this, bro. Y'all can't stop Canelo. Y'all can't stop him. This when y'all find out that it was the fighter and not the promoter. It was the superstar fighter and not the fucking company. You understand me? It was Canelo doing what he did in the ring that grew his fan base. Right? Him giving us great fucking performances. Him being a bad motherfucker in the ring. That gravitated the people towards him. You feel me? Canelo was gonna be a star with or without you, Oscar. With or without you, Oscar. You need to be um, honored and, and, and thankful that you got to promote this young man. That you did have money your benefit for X amount of years. That you made history with this man. You understand what I'm saying? Because you thought he was the one. And you still know he's the one. That's why you're feeling fucked up in the inside. Because you know you fucked up. You know you try to do this man in. You know you try to rob this man blind of his money. And you didn't really care about his well-being. All you cared about was filling up Golden Boy coffins. Putting De La Hoya on top. And being one of the top promoters in the game. You didn't care about him after boxing. You didn't care about him when he was going to court. And that motherfucker $8 million um, lawsuit was on the table that you told him you was going to take care of, then you turned your back on him. You didn't care about that man then. You just cared about Oscar De La Hoya. You feel me? And according to Canelo, drinking. And all other other activities that, be, that you got be taking place. You feel me? So I'm going to leave y'all with this, man. I love the Cholo brothers. They have some bad boys inside that ring that can fight their ass off. Canelo is my guy. I rock with him heavy. Canelo can fight his ass off inside that ring. I want to see Canelo and Jamal Charlo. I want to see Canelo and Demetrius Andrade. You feel me? But they're going to have to do something to catch Canelo eye. Because it's up to Canelo to pick who he want to fight. So if y'all want him to fight y'all, do something to catch the man eye. You feel me? Do something. You know what I'm saying? They don't mean pop up at a press conference talking about... When can we get on? When can we rumble to rumble? I'm a big fan of yours looking ass. Go fight Charlo. Go fight Andrade. Become unified world champion. You feel me? Then go up to 60 days and take out Benavidez and show him I'm her. I'm her. You understand what I'm saying? And stop listening to motherfuckers like Oscar De La Hoya cause it, and, and Benoit Hopkins. Because it, it's only going to make it worse for y'all trying to get a Canelo fight where y'all can make history y'all goddamn self. But nothing but respect to the Charlo. Nothing but respect to Andrade. Much respect to Canelo. He's going to do what he want to do because he's in control of his own fucking career. And that's just that. So Oscar De La Hoya is hating on Canelo Alvarez because he left Golden Boy. Benoit Hopkins is hating on Canelo Alvarez because he left Golden Boy. But you can't stop what God got in storage for you. You can't stop what God got in storage for you. So they're going to continue to try while Canelo continue to make history. You feel me? They're going to continue to try why Canelo continue to make history. And I'm going to leave it at that. Until then, it's your boy Money. It's the NSBC moving. Ain't nobody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to donate. OG Money on Cash App. Trainhop52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend. Tell a friend. Hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, share the video. Y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.